Hello everybody and welcome to Chrono Plays Arcade Block from Nerd Block. This is for July 2015 and I know once again, of course, absolutely nothing about what might be in the box. I didn't even know it was coming yet because they, well, I didn't get shipping information for it. They usually send like an email that says, hey, your tracking information is right here. Yeah, didn't get that this time. Um, I don't know if I might have accidentally deleted it or what, but eh. either way, let's open the box and see what is inside. We have stuff. Ah, stay. There we go. All right, let's start with the shirt. We have I Red Skull Evil. Okay, interesting. It's, it's, yeah, I mean, it's got eyes. I would assume that's the Red Skull from Captain America. Not, no, actually, I wouldn't assume it's the Red Skull from Captain America. It looks like the Red Skull from Captain America, but uh, that's interesting, to say the least. Um, does it say anything special? Uh, shirt punch, that's just them. A shirt to make your skin crawl. Alrighty. Horror block. But I don't do horror block. Maybe it's just an advertising. Another exclusive item. It, it does say things here. I can barely read it. Uh, yeah, another exclusive item just for subscribers. But I'm not subscribed to horror block. I'm not. Hmm, maybe it's just advertising because I see another shirt underneath there. Uh, so, other shirt. We have... Uh, oh, oh, that's, that's a toast zombie, I think. Um, shirt punch. And it says nerd block this time, not uh, horror block. But it doesn't say arcade block, so I have no idea. But yeah, it's a caution sign with that toast zombie. I don't know what the zombie is. I've, I've only ever seen it. I saw it at uh, the, the zombie fest or whatever it was called uh, last year in, up in Pittsburgh. Um... Yeah, I saw somebody cosplaying as it, and uh, the 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 head looked like they just you know glued a whole bunch of uh, toast to their head, and just walked around like a zombie. So it was very very strange, and I have no idea what it's from. Not a freaking clue what it's from. All right. So anyways, let's take a look at the pop vinyl. We have Val. Um, from something that I don't know what. Does it say anywhere? Markov, which looks like a Borg, Val, Hank, Maggie, Golatha. Oh, this is Evolve. Okay. I get it now. I get it now. I don't play Evolve. Um, not much of a multiplayer person myself. So these are characters from Evolve, I take it. These are the, the four humans, and that's one of the evil monster thingies. Okay, um, it is, it's a rather nice pop of vinyl. Let's take a look at this thing in close detail. Ugh, come on, there we go. Yeah, if we take a close look at this thing, it's actually pretty well detailed. I mean, I know nothing about Evolve, and I have no idea who this person is, but it is a very nicely detailed pop vinyl. I have to admit. And that's a really nice looking gun. Except her arm is through the gun. Like, you see that? Like, that's your shoulder. That's the that's the butt of the gun. You're supposed to put your shoulder up there. You're not supposed to put your arm through it. Or are you? I don't think so. I've never seen anybody hold a gun like that. Eh, whatever. All right. At first, I thought it was from something from Halo. Oops. Let's just put that on the floor there, someplace easy. Come on, stand up. Stand up. Your head's too big. You're top heavy. All right. Well, you're staying there then. All right. So what do we got here? We got uh, DJ Organic Mega Rush Coin Op Crush. It's a CD. It's a uh, something 
Coin Op Crush, I guess, is the name of the album. DJ Organic and Mega Ran Presents. So these are the people that made it. Um, so we got all of these songs. They're probably uh, chiptunes. NES Break, Building Blocks, Trust and Friendship, Bonus Round, Suffering. Oh, Surfing. Sorry, a little dyslexia and uh, severe lack of ability to spell. Two players outro. Yeah, it looks like chiptunes. Okay, so it's another music. Um, or another CD. That's actually kind of neat. I'll have to listen to that, see if that's any good. Uh, what are you? You are... Coasters. Okay, so we got coasters in this. I thought they were like air fresheners when I first saw them because they, they look like it. But they're coasters, so... Let's rip you off. Just chuck the trash on the floor for right now. I'll clean it up later. We have... Super Mario Brothers in the Japanese. We have Contra in English. Duck Story, which I would guess is um, DuckTales. And Excite BMX. Oh, are these not the real names? No, that's Contra. Excite BMX was the thing? Okay, I thought it was Excite Bike, but uh, whatever interesting i wonder if that says anything fancy like it's red and green does that say mario and luigi or something like that i don't know i don't speak japanese hmm. all right and then we have ooh, we have a thing here that i totally didn't see it's um it's a micro figure and it's from cut the rope om nom is a little monster who loves candy and he's got an air hole seriously there's a hole in it <laughs> <laughs> cool. Uh, tons to collect. So this is a blind bag style thing. And we get... Whoop, we get a cute little Santa om nom. And that thing's so tiny, I actually felt more of them in there. Uh, a blue thing. I haven't played Cut the Rope in a very, very long time. Not since... What was that? IE9 came out? Want special access to new cut the rope levels? Turn me over. Um, so go to www.cuttherope.net slash round five and enter passcode toys. Okie dokie. Uh, and there is one more thing in here. Come on, pull it out, pull it out, pull it out. It's a candy thing. Okay. These are all squishy. They, they feel like erasers. Like the rubber erasers from, you know, for like pencils and shit. Uh, I don't think they are, but they're all squishy, and uh, they're fairly interesting. Something I wouldn't want to uh, allow around my niece, since she'd probably swallow the things, but uh, yeah, pretty cool. All right, and then we have a comic book, Sonic Worlds Unite Battles, number one. Arcade block edition, of course. Uh, the video game mystery box variant, so... It I wonder if this is like a reprint of number one and they're like really, really far along or if this is a new series or something like that. I don't know. I don't... Uh, I was never much of a fan of Sonic. Um, and uh, I'm not much of a fan of comic books either. But uh, still, always cool to get a comic book. I like that. And then we have the thing in here, which is... Okay, so we have the caution t-shirt inspired by The Last of Us. All right, that's where I came from. Uh, nothing else interesting. The Cut the Rope Nommies. Uh, these Nommies bring the cutesy fun of Cut the Rope from your mobile device into the real world. Or from, what was that, Internet Explorer 8, <laughs> I think? If No, 8, 9? Nine? 9? Maybe 10. Fuck. It's been a while. Whichever one was actually first compatible with uh, HTML5... Because that's what uh, Microsoft was using Cut the Rope for, was to show off uh, a game made 100% in HTML5. Uh, that's how I know Cut the Rope. I never actually played it on a mobile device. Uh, DJ Organic and Mega Crush Coin Op Crush. That's the uh, music. Does it say anything interesting about the music? Uh, take a nostalgia trip with them. With this exclusive album released just for Arcade Block subscribers. All right. Uh, Sonic Worlds Unite Battles number one. 
the blue blur meets the blue bomber. Like, uh, uh, Bomberman? So Sonic meets Bomberman. Interesting. In the first issue that brings together the Sega and Capcom heavy hitters in a way that only Archie Comics can. This is an exclusive cover for the Arcade Block subscribers. All right. So classic console cartridge coasters. Oh, say that five times fast. Uh, need a place to set your drink while you grab the controller? These exclusive Arcade Block coasters are for you then. Eh, too bad my uh, end tables are such a goddamn mess that a coaster wouldn't do any difference right now. In fact, if anything, it might just make things worse. Uh, and then we got a bonus shirt. Since you've been getting Arcade Block, we figured we'd throw in a bonus shirt for from our classic or horror block so you can see what you've been missing. So, yes, it's an advertisement for one of their other blocks to get you to buy one of the other blocks. Uh, Funko Pop Vinyl Evolve. Uh, take the fight to Goliath, Kraken, Wrath, uh, Wraith, and Behemoth in the most collectible way possible with your very own Evolve Hunter character from Funko. Whether you get Markov, Val, Hank, or Maggie, you're in good company. Okay, so um, I would really love to subscribe to people that actually do Arcade Block. I could probably Google search them. Um, but, uh, um, yeah, I want to know how much of this stuff is random. Like, the cut the ropes is a blind bag kind of thing. So I would assume that you can get different characters uh and then the funko pops it's showing four of them here even though on the box if i find it on the floor it's way over there yeah, Bloop. yeah on the box it shows five it shows the goliath as well the six inch goliath um but apparently uh nerd block would only spring for the four smaller funko pops um so I, I, I wonder if these are random, which ones you get. Like, I just happened to get Val, but uh, I could have gotten any one of the four. Hmm. Yeah, everybody uh, everybody subscribes to uh, Loot Crate, which obviously I don't anymore. So, uh, yeah. Uh, so, as tradition dictates, I take all of my stuff and I put the stuff that I don't want to use back in the box. And that's going to be the comic book, because I don't think I'm going to bother reading it. That's my personal preference. I'm not saying anything bad about Sonic. I'm not saying anything bad about Archie action or the comic book in general. I'm just saying that's my personal preference. Um, I don't care about you, because you're just a thing. You're an advertisement. Uh, the coasters... I'm going to keep them out. I don't know what I'm going to use them for, but I'm going to keep them out. Um, these little things... Just because I just did what I just did, I'm going to put these back in the box because I know I'm going to lose them. And then I'm going to have to worry about the cat eating them. So they're going back in the box. Uh, Coin Op Crush, that's staying out because I want to listen to that. Uh, Val here is staying out, um, even though I'm going to have to figure out how to make her stand on her own two feet. Hmm. Yeah, they made it a little too top-heavy. I'm going to need, like, fun tack or something like that to hold it down and of course the shirts are staying out because well to be perfectly honest i don't like the shirts thinking about it you know what i think i am going to buck the trend and for the first time ever the shirts are going back in the box because i just don't like the shirts it's, again my personal preference i don't like the shirts yeah so let's put you away let's put you away and, uh, so, yeah, okay, so, not a good showing for Arcade Block, but, uh, that's not that big of a problem. Um, I dealt with far, far worse in the, the other, uh, blind box. So, uh, yeah, so I'm going to end this episode here, and I will say to you guys, as always, keep playing the game, and have fun.